no, I think I think you've touched on a bunch of stuff actually, and I do think that、um, there needs to be some kind of venue so that people actually know what to expect as far as financial goals. Like one of the things in chiropractic, even when I went there, is they never taught you anything when it came to that. You never had any skill set. I remember the first time I had an accountant, and he called me up and he goes, "He goes, you owe thirty thousand dollars in taxes," and I'm like, "How can I owe thirty thousand dollars in taxes? I only made fifty thousand dollars this year. What are you talking about?"、Um, but the bottom line. Is you're right. There needs to be a baseline. So two hundred fifty thousand dollars sounds like a lot of money. Over a career, it's not. And you know, it's it's akin to buying a house. I remember when I we live in a very wealthy area outside of Boston. I didn't know it was when I moved here,、um, but I remember going to this doctor's house. He was an MD, and one of my patients called. He was on the floor. He couldn't get up. He could not move. He called me. Goes, will you go do a house call? It was one of my you know first couple years in practice. I went there. The guy's house was. Unbelievable! It was in a town called Weston, which is probably one of the richest towns in the country.、Um, he had a, you know, he had a pool. He had, you know, bronze hallway. I mean, it was just huge. And he ended up becoming a patient. And I remember I was going to buy a house, and、um, at the time, and I said, "Oh, I was freaking out." It was like a hundred and twenty thousand dollars. I was, and he goes, he goes, you know, you've been to my house. I said, "Yeah." I said, "It's unbelievably amazing." He goes, "You know what I pay for that house?" I went, "What?" He goes, "I paid two hundred fifty thousand dollars for the house." At that point, it was worth close to two million. You know, he only owned it for ten. So, so the point is, is that what seems like a lot now, as you, if you have a strong financial base, if you're willing to work, if you're, if you know, if you're willing to be moderate with your money, you'll pay all that stuff off. All that stuff will be paid off. It seems I I do feel like we need to deal with the student loan situation. I think it's absurd what kids get, especially when you have graduate loans. What is it, seven percent interest now almost? But anyhow, that's a piece of deal. But it you sh- if you have the skill set, which part of what you're talking about, to understand that two hundred fifty thousand dollars is an investment in yourself, you will easily make that back. You will easily pay that off as long as you have the skill set to run your business and have the art to perform what you want to do, which is I guess what it seems like parts of your program are both of those things. Once you have that, it'll it'll be it'll be done. We have definitely less student loans、um, than you guys did, but we also did. We had less money, but we also worked during the school. Plus, I got that money from my parents. But I remember, I get this. I got this notice after my second year in practice. Maybe third year in practice, second or third, that my student loan was paid off. I was like, "What?" And so my wife had been embezzling money and paying off our student loans. But it was like we just kept focusing. I didn't, even, you know, it didn't. Yes, it was less, but I, I don't know if it was less given the current market. You know, how much? You know, maybe it was. Let's say it was fifty thousand dollars now. So what was fifty thousand dollars in nineteen eighty one? You know, I don't know what the numbers are, but it's probably close to a couple hundred thousand dollars. So it's about what you're doing. I think is is brilliant in the fact that you're giving people a running start. You're giving people tools, and you're giving them a running start so that they are protected, and they can make decisions outside of their basic primal brain. Because that's what happens when you're in a survival mode. You know, it's like Maslow's hierarchy. You have survival mode, and then you begin to firstly end up in self-actualization. Most students. Come into chiropractic school, and most doctors graduate in survival mode, and that limits your thinking. So, if you can get them into even the midbrain, if you can get them up to that point, and then work their way to self-actualization, you've just done a gift that is incom- incomprehensible.